Uh, hi, Peter John Burns here. Uh, I got my boy here behind the camera. Say hello, boy. Hello. Um, so, uh, when Tom Hardy was doing promotion for the movie Venom, uh, a British interviewer asked him if he were a snack food, what kind of snack food would he be? And Tom Hardy said, uh, I'm, a, I'm a bag of Twiglets. I'm not for everyone. I, you can get in there, there you go. So, I didn't know what the hell a uh, Twiglet was, uh, so I looked it up, and apparently uh, they are a British snack food that is well known but little loved, and they uh, serve it at the holidays at cocktail parties. Um, I suppose then the correct choice of liquor to go with the Twiglet is gin, um, but I would rather get malaria than have a gin and tonic, so I have uh, chosen bourbon from Kentucky because I am ecumenical. Um, so hang on, let me, uh, uh, all right, I, I have now opened this up. Uh, uh, made by Jacobs, uh, baked to delight. Sure. Um, uh, Twiglets original, which means that there are somehow, God help us, line extensions. Um, wow, it kind of smells like a bag of coffee grounds, which is not necessarily what I'd be looking for in a snack. Um, I ordered these via Amazon from overseas. They took a while to get here, hence the uh, belated nature of this video. Uh, uh, the Twiglets people seem to be trying a little too hard. Uh, this bag informs me that they are 80% whole grain, uh, high in fiber, uh, fibery, really, because British. Uh, oven baked, not fried. I don't care. Uh, and no artificial colors or flavors. Um, each pack, 45 grams, because again, you know, Europe, uh, perhaps they can go back to Imperial once they uh, divest themselves of Europe. Um, boy, it's telling me uh, that it gives me energy, low fat, sugar, and salt. I'm okay with those. I'm American. Um, but they seem to be trying to advertise this as a health food, and there is absolutely nothing that I've read about this uh, that makes me think that it's at all healthy or enjoyable. Since they are uh, crunchy, savory, whole wheat sticks covered uh, in flavoring, uh, or flavoring, uh, which is a yeast extract from barley. So one assumes that this bourbon is at least somewhat appropriate. Uh, so, um, this is a Twiglet. Um, here goes nothing. I mean, they're not bad. But, um, if you like a, a, a stick, a whole wheat stick that has been rolled uh, in espresso grounds, maybe, or uh, something better. Um, this bourbon uh, doesn't appear to be the uh, appropriate accompaniment. Um, I'm going to try uh, some, something else. Man. Okay, so um, the bourbon didn't exactly wash the taste of the Twiglet out of my mouth. Uh, I mean, uh, accompany the Twiglet appropriately. Uh, so we're moving on to this. Uh, family and I went for uh, uh, vacation in Iceland. 
Uh, and it appears that the local liquor there is flavored with birch, uh, in part because that's all they have in Iceland in terms of things that they can flavor their liquor with. And also, apparently, uh, they have little to lose for. They're, it's seasonal defective, affective disorder there. They're, I mean, this is it. And this birch liqueur, uh, you'll note, even has a twig in it uh, to give you the great taste of birch. So what better accompaniment for another twiglet than uh, uh, something made from a twig, right? So... I mean, they get better. I mean, you know, get used to it. Man, there's a finish to them, though. All right, um, birch liqueur. Yeah, um, the birch liqueur is um, it's a little get used to. I don't think it's the right thing to go with the twiglet. We, we got another one. Hang on. Okay, um, next next attempt for a twiglet accompaniment. Um, I don't know if this would be at an English dinner party, but it, it's all Europe, right? Still. Uh, this is Fernet Branca. It's a liqueur, uh, a digestive. Um, I've had it before, it tastes no worse than a twiglet, so maybe the two of them go together. Uh, oh, Jesus. I have to assume that this was during rationing when these were invented, like after the war, or something where like you were spreading drippings on toast and a twiglet sounded like a treat. There's no refined sugar in whatever. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. That's um. Uh, it's kind of got a wintergreen kick. Boy, I'm glad these are oven baked, not fried, huh? I don't see how anyone could get through a dinner party uh, on a. Uh, oh God. I can smell come... that from here. Yeah, well, I can smell it on. It kind of comes back on you, you know? Okay. Um, this is clearly not the accompaniment. Moving on. Okay, I've got a. Bitters, just chocolate bitters. It's uh, it's for holiday type drinks. Um, again, I mean, you know, could be worse than this. Oh God, I didn't see Venom, but I have been told that this is pretty much what seeing that movie was like. So, props to you, Tom Hardy. Let's just do this though. That's not bad, but this is impractical. Um, <coughs> oh, I suffer from my art. All right, um, we're gonna have to move on. All right, so last last uh, mixer, uh, Bailey's. Pumpkin spice. Don't judge, it was a gift. Maybe it'll coat my tongue and yeah, you know. And it's like if you rolled a Cheeto and pencil shavings. It's like that.
dead. Are you... I'm not even saying it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Alright, so this has been an attempt to eat Twiglets with various holiday mixers. Uh, I now remember why I was so drunk most of the time when I lived in England.